Hello! Welcome back. I'm Carolyn from Carol's Puzzle Corner and today we're going to uh, do a Unidragon wooden puzzle and I'm going to review it and see if it's worth uh, the price is worth the hype because wooden puzzles are more expensive than uh, cardboard puzzles. And there isn't much information available on the internet about Unidragon. Um, there's a lot of information about their products, but not the history uh, of the company. All I know is that uh, they started in 2019, so they're relatively new. They're from the uh, they're from Russia. They have uh, one, two, three, four sizes for their wooden puzzles: uh, royal size, king size, medium size, and small size. And they boast that their wooden puzzles have whimsy pieces. We're going to talk about that in a minute. And um, that they are laser cut. And one of the puzzles, they're most known for their animal puzzles. I think if you go on Amazon, there's a lot of Unidragon animal puzzles. But they also have other collections. And I'm interested in eventually getting um, a Mandela puzzle by them. So let's take a look at um, the box and see what the pieces look like. So first of all, what we see is it's a small wooden box. This is the small size that I got. It has 107 pieces. It's in a wooden box that is ever so cute and tiny. Um, and I have my measurement thing. Hopefully my cat doesn't come because he loves this thing. Uh, it measures five by eight inches, seven and a half inches. So it's a very compact petite box. Again, 107 pieces and design, the design that I got is called Fairy Bird. Um, and on the front of it, there's a cutout of the fairy bird with the what the puzzle supposed to look like it has the finished dimension descriptions 18 by 23 centimeters or 7 by 8 or 9 inches and here it says hello my name is fairy bird um which uh reminded me of a phoenix and i like the idea of a phoenix you know rising from the flames and then here there's the logo of unidragon and on the side of the box, we have the size, the logo, the name, the piece count, again, the dimensions in centimeters and in inches, the name here on the puzzle, the size, the logo, and then here we have Unidragon, uh, and it said figured wooden puzzles, and it's got their, um, boy, I very much aware that I need bifocals. Uh, it's got their their tags, like their Instagram and uh, website and email uh, address. So the first thing I want to say about this box is it doesn't stay shut very well. Um, it's hard to shut it, but when I open it, this on the other side of the box is uh, it's plain and then when I open it there is a uh, little token um, unidragon puzzle piece and then there you get a welcome sheet welcome to the unidragon family my name is Artem I'm the founder and CEO at the unidragon brand um, participate in the choice of the new puzzle heroes and plots and also track our news after subscribing to our Instagram account. And then it's got um, some information if you have a missed or broken piece. And the packer was Mohiva E. Um, it gives you that information with the stamp. It's quite bright and it is in English and in Russian. And then the second thing we know, we know, we see when we open the box is there's like a strip of burlap. So I open the burlap and here are my pieces. Um, 
So we're going to change angles so that I can show you the pieces better. So the first thing I did, um, because I looked on the website and they have two um, puzzle pieces that go as a stand, like this. So you stick them to the front of the box and it's like a little puzzle stand, which I thought was nice. And then in terms of, um, so they call um, pieces that are different, um, it's definitely random cut. And um, they call pieces that don't look like a typical puzzle piece that have the shape of an animal or a creature. They call them whimsy pieces. Um, and I have to say, obviously the pieces are smaller. We're talking about 107 piece count. So the pieces themselves are quite tiny, but the um, detail and the the intrinsic, like the, the just, it's very. So first they have the Unidragon logo and a lot of their pieces. So this is what it looks like. The colors are very vibrant and this is the Unidragon logo, but most of their pieces have a little bit of detail on the back as well which is why I'm doing this puzzle on a different board. I'm not doing it on my felt uh, roller puzz because when it's completed, I'm going to flip it over and see what it looks like on the back. Um, but this is the Unidragon logo. Some of the other whimsy pieces that I quickly found um, is this butterfly. If you flip it over, it looks like this. But on the back, there's even some detail and I found a flower. I think that's a flower. So the colors are just gorgeous. I found a fish. Like look how intricate that is. And uh, I'm very impressed by this deer or fawn um, because it's got a little tiny ear. Um, so, and the legs and everything. So, and I found a feather. Again, details on the back of the puzzle as well as on the front. So, let's get started. Some of the things I wanted to say about um, the Unidragon fairy bird puzzle so far is that there are no false fits. I haven't encountered any and I, I, I don't know if that's a thing with wooden puzzles if false fits can exist. And um, it might not uh, be an obvious thing but there's no puzzle dust at, at all with wooden puzzles or at least with Unidragon. The other thing that I've noticed is I've heard some people comment that there's a distinct odor of wood from wooden puzzles that can be pleasant or um, uh, bothersome depending on your tastes in terms of the smell of the burnt wood. Uh, this puzzle, um, the Unidragon uses laser and there is no odor of burnt wood at all. That I can smell. Um, and for a smaller puzzle, so it's 107 pieces, um, but it, it packs a punch. It's a great little puzzle, um, much more challenging than a cardboard puzzle uh, that's 107 pieces. I would much rather bring this to cottage, camping, whatever, um, 
for to have a little puzzle snack than to bring a cardboard 100 piece puzzle because um, this is much more challenging. Um, the other thing is uh, the whimsy pieces. Out of 107, I counted 21 whimsy pieces. So those are pieces that are shaped like a particular animal or an object. And um, I'm going to insert a picture of them here, of the whimsy pieces. Um, one of the problems that I did have is the burlap, the uh, burlap that it comes in sheds quite a bit. The other thing that I would have liked, because these pieces are so small, um, is for it to come in a little sachet. Uh, it does not. So I went to the dollar store and found these little drawstring bags. Um, there are three for two dollars and I have two Unidragon puzzles so I guess the universe wants me to get another one. <laughs> I'm um, coveting one of their Mandela puzzles. So yeah, I'm just going to put the puzzle pieces in this little drawstring burlap bag in the box. Um, small issue with um, also, the box is tricky to close. It does close, but it's tricky, and I don't get the feeling like it's a good seal. Like, I would want to put rubber bands around it to make sure that everything stays where it's supposed to be if I were traveling with um, this puzzle. Um, so let's finish this puzzle, and then the next thing we're going to do is flip it over, um, because I have heard that the back of the puzzle is also interesting because you get the back of all the whimsy pieces that almost um, reveal like another design or picture. So let's finish her off. <laughs> And it is done. There she is. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, so let's talk about price. Uh, these babies in Canada, uh, you can get Unidragon on Amazon. And in Canada, a small one goes for $49.99. And I think the biggest ones go for $120. So this is definitely more expensive than an average puzzle. However, uh, the longevity of them, they will last much longer than a puzzle. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed putting this together. I didn't know whether or not this would translate, you know, just because I like doing cardboard puzzles doesn't mean I would like doing a wood puzzle. I do have to say I really worked my fine motor skills. I can't see kids particularly enjoying doing this because the pieces are very finicky. Um, and I personally think that it's worth the price. However, I do think they need to ditch the burlap and put their pieces in a bag. So let's do a puzzle flip, meaning I'm going to put this on top, flip it, and we'll see what uh, is on the other side. So this is what's on the other side. Look at all the whimsy pieces. I see some monkeys and a bird and a squirrel, the deer, some trees, butterfly, dragonflies, fish, a little reptile. But yeah, that's what's what it looks like on the back. Pretty neat, eh? So cool.
So overall, I really enjoyed my puzzling experience with Unidragon um, and making uh, this puzzle, Fairy Bird. Um, they are not in everybody's budget, and I recognize that. But if you ever you were curious about whether or not to get one, um, I also like that they don't take up a lot of space in your puzzle collection because the boxes are quite small and they're nice and portable. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Um, thank you for watching till the end and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.